in this video we are going to discuss about how to find the sequence of generating function totally three generating functions are given the first problem is 1 plus x whole power n the second problem is 3 plus x whole power 3 third problem is 3 x power 3 plus e power 2 x so these three are uh, generating functions so from the generating functions we have to find out the sequence so what is a sequence sequence means the coefficients let me have uh, an equation like this 1 x power 0 plus 5 x power 1 plus 10 x cube 10 x squared plus 27 x cubed so likewise we have uh, an equation like this okay then the sequence means the coefficients associated with the corresponding exponents so here for x power naught the coefficient is 1 so 1 x power 1 coefficient is 5 5 next x power 2 coefficient is 10 x power 3 coefficient is 27 so this is the sequence okay now let us solve these three problems let us see the first problem 1 plus x whole power n in order to solve 1 plus x power whole power n or 3 plus x whole power 3 we have to use binomial theorem binomial theorem so first let us see what is the binomial theorem the binomial theorem is x plus y whole power n is equal to if the generating if the generating function contains a power like this we have to follow this theorem sigma r is equal to 0 to n n c r into x power n minus r into y power r okay x plus y whole power n is equal to the initial value of r is 0 next next r value is 1 next r value is 2 likewise we will write the terms n c r into x power n minus r into y power r next we know the formula for n c r the formula for n c r is n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial this is the formula let us solve the first problem so what is the first problem the generating function is 1 plus x whole power n is equal to 1 plus x whole power n so this is in the form of x plus y whole power n so if you compare uh, uh, 1 plus x whole power n with x power x plus y whole power n then what is x value in place of x we have to write 1 and in place of y we have to write x so what is the formula sigma r is equal to 0 to n n c r n is same only n n n c r into x power n minus r what is x value 1 so 1 power n value is n r value is r only into y power r what is y value x x power r okay now let us expand this equation initially for the first term r is 0 for the second term r is 1 for the third term r is 2 for the fourth term r is 3 likewise we need to expand so n c so what is the initial value of r 0 into 1 power n minus the initial value of r is 0 into x power the initial value of r is 0 plus and uh, here this is nothing but sigma means summation so this is the summation of all these terms okay next n c 1 the next value of r is 1 n c 1 into x power n minus r x means 1 1 my 1 power n minus r value is 1 into y power r so what is y value what is y value x so x power 1 plus plus n c 2 into x power n minus r so 1 power n minus 2 into x power 2 likewise we can write n number of terms okay so what first one is n c 0 into 
वन पवर एनी थिंग इज नथिंग बट दट वन ओनली वन पवर टेन मीन्स वन वन पवर टेन इज इक्वल टू टेन वन पवर हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू वन वन पवर ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू वन सो वन पवर एनी थिंग इज नथिंग बट वन ओनली सो एन सी जीरो इन टू वन मीन्स एन सी जीरो इन टू एक्स पवर जीरो एन सी जीरो इन टू एक्स पवर जीरो प्लस वन पवर एन माइनस वन मीन्स वन ओनली एन सी वन इन टू वन मीन्स एन सी वन इन टू एक्स पवर वन प्लस वन पवर एन माइनस टू मीन्स वन ओनली सो वन इन टू एन सी टू मीन्स एन सी टू इन टू एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर इफ यू सी दिस इक्वेशन हियर वी हैव एक्स पवर जीरो एक्सपोनेंट नेक्स्ट हियर वी हैव एक्स पवर वन एक्सपोनेंट हियर वी हैव एक्स पवर टू एक्सपोनेंट सो वॉट इज द सीक्वेंस सीक्वेंस मीन्स को एफिशियंट्स so for the first exponent what is the coefficient n c 0 n c 0 comma for x power 1 exponent the coefficient is n c 1 comma for x power 2 coefficient the exponent for x power 2 exponent the coefficient is n c 2 so so on so this n c 0 comma n c 1 comma n c 2 so on this is the sequence generated by this generating function 1 plus x whole power n okay now let us uh, write some equations uh, 1 plus x whole power minus 1 is equal to that means in place of n if you substitute minus 1 then what is the equation okay 1 minus 1 here we have plus symbol here we have minus symbol So one minus x. So alternatives we have we have to write plus and minus. Okay, one minus x plus x square minus x cube plus so on. If you substitute minus one here in place of x, if you substitute minus one, then we will get this equation. Let us see the next equation. That is one minus x whole power minus n. 1 minus x whole power minus 1 here we have minus 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 means plus so here we have the equation is like this 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube so on okay next equation 1 plus x whole power minus 1 is equal 1 plus x whole power minus 2 is equal to so minus 2 means here we have plus symbol here we have minus symbol alternative we have to write uh, Plus minus plus minus like that. So in place of this n, if we substitute two, then we will get like this. First term is one minus two x plus three x square minus four x cube like that. One minus x whole power minus two means minus minus plus. So all all are plus only. One plus two x plus three x square plus four x cube. So these four formulas are very very important. These four formulas are mainly used in a other concepts like uh, finding the coefficient okay in that concept mainly uh, these are very useful okay so you need to remember these four four formulas if you substitute uh, minus 1 in this equation we will get uh, an equation like this so 1 plus x whole power minus 1 means plus minus plus minus so alternate to plus minus we have to write here minus minus means same symbol minus minus means plus so equation contains all pluses only so plus minus means different symbols so 1 minus 2x plus 3x squared minus 4x cube like this we will get the equation now let us see the now let us solve the next problem what is the next problem 3 plus x whole power 3 so if you substitute 3 plus x whole cube with x plus y whole power n then what is x value x value is 3 y value is x And what is n value? N value is three. N value is three. Now let us uh, write the formula. Sigma r is equal to zero to sigma r is equal to zero to n n c r into x power n minus r. What is n value? Three. So three c r into three c r into what is x value? Three. So three power n minus r. X power n minus r. What is r? R is already given as 
3 uh, n is already given as 3 so 3 power uh, let us write in the equation 3 power n minus r into y power r so what is y value x power r okay now let us expand the equation 3c for the first two term let us assume that r is 0 into x power x means 3 power n minus r what is n value n is given as 3 so 3 minus for the first term r is 0 into y power r x power 0 plus 3c 1 into x power n minus r 3 power 3 minus r for the second term r value is 1 so x power 1 r value is 1 plus 3c 2 into x power n minus r so 3 minus 2 into x power 2 so likewise we can write the next term also why because here n is given as uh, 3 only so we will get only one term so that is 3c 3 into x power n minus 3 3 power 3 minus 3 into x power 3 why because n is given as 3 only okay so this is the equation 3c0 what is the formula for 3c0 we know the formula for ncr factorial n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial 3c0 means 3 factorial by 3 minus 0 factorial into 0 factorial 3 factorial 3 factorial it will be cancelled uh, we know that the formula for 0 factorial is 1 so 1 into 3 power 1 into 3 power 3 1 into 3 power 3 means what 27 3 power 3 means 27 into x power 0 plus let us calculate uh, uh, the formula for uh, 3c1 so 3 factorial by 3 minus 1 factorial that is 2 factorial into r factorial here what is r 1 factorial so 3 factorial by 2 factorial 3 factorial can be written as 3 into 2 factorial 2 factorial 2 factorial cancel 3 so 3 into 3 power 3 minus 1 means 3 power 2 3 power 2 means 9 9 into 3 means 27 27 x power 1 plus 3 c 2 what is 3 c 2 3 factorial by 3 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial 3 factorial by 3 minus 2 factorial means 1 factorial 1 factorial into 2 factorial means 2 factorial 3 factorial can be written as 3 into 2 factorial 2 factorial 2 factorial cancelled 3 so 3 into 3 power 3 into 3 power 1 that means 9 3 into 3 means 9 9 x square plus what is the formula for 3 c 3 what is the formula for 3 c 3 3 factorial by 3 minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial 3 minus 3 factorial means 1 3 factorial 3 factorial means 1 so 1 into 3 power 0 3 power 0 means 1 3 power 0 means 1 so 1 into x cube 1 into x cube okay so now what is the sequence 27 comma 27 comma 9 comma 1 so this is the sequence generated by this function now let us solve the last problem for the last problem there is no need to use any binomial theorem directly we can get the formula okay what is the last problem 3x cube plus e power 2x we know the formula for e power x what is the formula for e power x 1 plus 1 can be written as x power 0 by 0 factorial plus x plus x can be written as x power 1 by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 factorial likewise we will get the equation here we need to obtain the uh, equation for e power 2x so in place of x we need to substitute 2x so 2x power 0 by 0 factorial plus 2x power 1 by 1 factorial plus 2x power 2 by 2 factorial plus 2x power 3 by 3 factorial so on so e power 2x is equal to so anything power 0 is equal to 1 so 1 by 0 factorial means 1 so 1 by 1 means 1 1 1 into we need x power 0 let us write x power 0 plus 
टू एक्स पवर वन मीन टू एक्स ओनली टू एक्स बै वन मी वन फैक्टोरियल मीन वन ओनली सो दिस इज नथिंग बट टू एक्स पवर वन नेक्स्ट टू एक्स होल पवर टू मीन फोर एक्स स्क्वेर सो फोर एक्स स्क्वेर बै द वैल्यू ऑफ द टू फैक्टोरियल इज टू सो फोर एक्स स्क्वेर बै टू मीन टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस टू एक्स होल क्यूब मीन वॉट एट एक्स क्यूब एट एक्स क्यूब बै थ्री फैक्टोरियल मीन सिक्स वी विल गेट एन इक्वेशन लाइक दिस नेक्स्ट वॉट वी हैव टू डू We have to find out the sequence for 3x cube plus e power 2x. So we need to add 3x cube now. 3x cube plus e power 2x is equal to 1 into x power 0 plus 2 into x power 1 plus 2 into x square plus 8x cube by 6 plus we need to add this 3x cube. Let us add 3x cube here plus 3x cube. Okay. Now two fours are eight. Two threes are six, so four by three plus three. We need to find out LCM for this one. What is the result of four by three plus three? Three. Three into one one. One into four four. One into three three. Three three into three means nine. So nine plus four means thirteen. So thirteen by three x cube. So now what is the sequence? X power zero coefficient is one one comma. X power one coefficient two. X power two coefficient. x power 2 coefficient is also 2 2 yeah 4x square by 2 means uh, 2 only 2 next uh, x power 3 coefficient what is x power 3 coefficient 4 plus 9 means 13 so 13 by 3 so likewise we will get the uh, sequence so in this way we can find uh, sequence for the generating function